Well, uh, we're back in the pump house and I finally got my insulation. I went and picked up, I didn't really plan for it right, so I just kind of did real quick monkey math in my head, trying to take out a little bit for the windows. Um, but I got, honestly, I don't remember how many square feet. Not a lot, I got, I got more than, than I think I'll need for sure. Uh, definitely enough to do all the walls, which of course is the first priority. Uh, and I think I've got enough to do the ceiling as well, which is interesting because there is no ceiling in the place yet. <laughs> I mean, I can show you guys. There's the ceiling. So, uh, I'm planning on putting, uh, I'm actually gonna put uh, joists in. Uh, I hadn't really made my mind up about that before, but I think I'm going to now. Um, so really, to insulate the walls right now, it's not gonna really do any good in here since there's a total open air ceiling. But I wanna get the walls insulated so that I can at least move forward with getting them closed up, and getting them, get the, the lap siding in here, get the pressure tank moved in here um, and start doing some plumbing rework. Uh, that's really, I know I've said that before in the past videos, but that's really my, my focus right now is get this wall closed up so that I can then get the tank in and start attaching plumbing and electrical and stuff like that to this wall. Cause I'm gonna run everything in conduit um, on the outside of the wall. So it's ready to close up now once I get the installation in. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Um, we're just gonna kind of show you guys some of this, nothing to it. This is a John's Vansville from Aldehyde Free for whatever it's worth. Uh, I'm just happy with it as long as it's itch free. Fiberglass. I think I talked about this when when we were making our when we were building the house. I think I talked about the fiberglass. This stuff really isn't bad. Nothing compared to old old school fiberglass. Yes, I should be wearing a respirator probably and long sleeve. Uh, shirt but like everything else this was just kind of like hey I got 30 minutes let's install some insulation the hard part here I don't know what you guys can see is I've got so many so much interior sort of blocking and framing that I'm having to really work to tuck this insulation in around the corners well hello Wait. Hello there. Hi. Hi there. Hi there. What are you doing? Look. look, what are you doing? Hi. Dad, you're on the sketchy van. <laughs> uh, so yeah, down here, for example, I've got to tuck in behind this 2x4 blocking. And I have to put that in in order to nail all of the interior lap side. Eh? Get out of the camera, please. Mm -hmm. No sense in that, honey. I don't mind if you girls are in here, but you don't need to just stop. You're being rude. Um, so yeah, I've got to try to tuck it all in. I had to do the blocking the full length. I'm going to pop your bottom. You don't think I won't. I told you to stop. They all stop. The whole world's going to see how naughty you're being. Um, I had to run it the full length because this is what I've got to nail all the lap siding to, so you can't just do little bits of walking. But anyway, I kind of get it stuffed in there and then stuff it in behind. It's not perfect. You know, there are better methods if I could expand, have some expanding foam or something, but I just love using this hammer stapler. This thing's fun. So I've got these first three pieces in here all had to be stuffed in behind, so they were kind of a pain. Girls, you might not want to be in here because this stuff will make you itchy. Yeah, I was saying, this insulation is not nearly as bad as older fiberglass insulation. I don't really know how I survived my childhood because I vividly remember we had a large, loose pile of fiberglass insulation bales that had somehow gotten busted open up in the kind of unfinished third story of the house. And I would run and jump in that like it was a pile of leaves and then dig tunnels around in it. Now, maybe someday I'll have like some sort of crazy lung problem. I don't know. But I guess I was a pretty tough kid. Maybe it went to my brain and that's why I'm as ignorant as I am now. But I used to think that was good fun. And I don't remember it making me terribly itchy. I'm sure it did. 
remember getting into stinging nettles down in the creek bottom. And that was like, I thought you were dying, it itched so bad. Yet I would run and play in insulation. So anyway, y'all see, you've probably seen it before. Stuff goes up super fast and easy. I was spending more time just shoving stuff out of my way, trying to clear space. Now I do have, darn it, I've got two more rows of siding I need to put up on the outside. That didn't get put up. And so I don't want to put any insulation up on the north wall just yet, just because I don't want to have some sort of crazy blowing rain. Get in underneath of it and get the, the fiberglass wet. So I'll put these last few pieces up here, this one and this one here, and that's it for the east wall. Oh, might be able to stuff a bat in here to the south of the window on the west wall. But really, I'm probably just going to grab a bunch of this, all these bales I threw outside just to have room to work in here. I'll grab them, stuff them back in here for a better day. Anyway, I'm not going to make you guys watch any more of this. It's pretty boring, pretty straightforward. I'm just shoving insulation in the wall. All right, well, show you what we can see in here anyway. Got front two walls done maybe you guys can see that east wall done north wall done and I went ahead and insulated the north wall I mentioned I think earlier that I wasn't going to yet but it used up that bundle of insulation that I'd cut open I really wanted to get that used up just out of the way I didn't want to have like one or two pieces and what I took was the outside the plastic wrap for it <laughs> I just tacked it up there on the wall real quick there's two more runs of siding I got to put on one and a half really I've got it cut right here on the ground I don't think we're expecting any sort of blowing rain for the next couple of days anyway, so two long runs there, two little short scraps here, and that has all the exterior siding done, so not too worried about it. Um, well, the siding, I've got to close up higher into that gable, but that's all under the drip edge. So that's done for now. We throw this back in here in the pump house. That's for the ceiling uh, and the rest of the wall, and then get my saw put away. All right, so just doing a little more closing up here in the pump house um putting these ceiling joists in i really when i started doing this i didn't really have a plan on whether or not i was going to insulate up against the bottom of the tin or down lower um and it doesn't really matter i probably could have put it up against the bottom of the tin um but then i would have had to do something a little more robust to close in the eaves as well so i figured instead i'm just gonna i just threw up these those are one two three four five joists uh roughly 16 on center uh, and I'm just going to insulate and have basically a flat ceiling in here. So whether or not I ever even close the ceiling in, still not, not determined, but I'm at least going to insulate it. Um, first, I'm going to have to go up here because I left this joist offset off that wall just a little bit because when I put my one inch trim up on the wall, then that will still have the joist far enough out that if I ever decide to close the ceiling in, I've got something to nail to. Um, but I'm going to have to cut some little scraps of insulation and jump up and stuff it in these pockets here just enough to close up that gap do the same thing over on this side although the gap isn't as evident because there's already a piece of one inch trim up there so that kind of shows you guys what i was talking about if i if i put that joist all the way against the wall then i have just barely an edge to nail to so went ahead and brought it out got to try to stuff some insulation in behind these little pockets i had nailed those up there just as spacers basically um so that i couldn't put my trim up should have insulated behind them but i didn't have it at the time might take the saws on, round it out a little bit, just have a handhold, but I'm just gonna cram some in there just to fill those little voids. They're, they're too, the gaps are too small to easily stuff insulation through, but the void behind is too big to just squirt it in there out of a can. So I'll have to stuff something in there, no big deal. But mostly I just wanna show you the, the rafters I put up here, or the joists, I'm sorry. Uh, and I, I put these little cross bracing pieces on there. I'm gonna call them a rat run, because if rats ever get up there, which they probably will eventually, I don't know. It'd make a nice little rat run, but I just put them there just so there's not too much flex um, in these joists side to side. Not that it really matters. They really should never have a side load, but figured it didn't hurt. Just cut a couple of scraps of blocking and nailed them up there on top. So anyway, I'm going to start cutting some insulation and uh, stuffing it up in those holes. We'll see how this goes. Trying to get her done before this weekend. It's supposed to get down to about 20, I think. So it'd be really nice to have this all closed up. <laughs> You're so pretty. Okay, so insulation is up in the joists, and I got the rest of the wall insulated. 
You can see I switched over to this plastic wrapped insulation. Uh, probably not the right stuff for the job. All I've ever used in my life has been craft faced, which is great because it makes it easy to staple in. This stuff does not have any way to staple it in, which means you'd have to run some sort of mesh or chicken wire, or you have to lay it up in an attic once your ceiling is in place. So there's a purpose for it. I just never even thought about it. We bought it because it was a little bit cheaper than the craft face. And I was like, oh, what the heck, I'll buy it and see if I can use it. I was able to make it work. I just kind of wrinkled the edges of it to staple it in place so it won't fall. But I'm definitely going to have to get a ceiling in here sooner rather than later. At least something to hold it up. But it's boxed in. I got all these little uh, pockets and stuff stuffed in with it. Got these last two pieces insulated. Mm -hmm. Cut out my little hand holes like I said, I was gonna, told you I was going to do just to stuff it up there above the door. And now I've got a can of great stuff. I forgot to put the great stuff in around the door Daddy, before I this? put what's that trim that? up. Um, but I'm going to run some great stuff just right here around the edges of the windows just because I have it. Might as well use it and try to fill in whatever other little voids I can. There's, I can use some of it up in there just where I didn't quite get it tucked enough. But I'll just kind of find places to put it to use up the whole can. Uh, and then we'll be done insulating and we'll be able to start. Oh, look what I did. I forgot to put my end pieces up in there. Daggummit. I got to take this piece back down and put my end pieces up on the gables like I did on the other end. Shoot. All right. Well, I misspoke. Um, I said that there was no way to staple this stuff up, but there is. I just hadn't noticed it yet. So mention it. Notice this piece is print down. These pieces are all print up. That's the problem that I was having because these are put in upside down essentially. <clears throat> but right here on this edge, you see there's that seam. And there's a seam on this side too. I didn't realize it when I was laying it out, but that is actually a, a tab essentially uh, for you to staple through. So actually made putting this next piece up a lot easier. So I redact what I said before about having to have a mesh or something like that to hold this stuff up. You don't. Um, so who knows? Maybe in the future I will use it again. I don't have any qualms with the paper. The plastic stuff wasn't too bad. I, just, I don't like how easy that plastic carries. It's real thin which the paper can tear too, um, but I just feel like it's a little more durable. The plastic is real, real thin. I tore a lot of places just on accident, just get it caught on a little burr or a staple or something. So anyway, that's all done. Let's get some great stuff put in. What? All right, well, I've made a mess with the great stuff. I don't think there's a way to do it cleanly. It seems like it swelled quite a bit, even though it's the low expansion, but got the window done in and uh, filled in this little gap here behind the trim just because there's where I haven't quite finished the trim yet. So I just kind of, like I told you, I just kind of used it up wherever I could to waste. That's when the can was running out. So I just kind of used up a little bit I could. But anyway, I got the window sealed in, got all the rest of the insulation all tucked in. So that's going to be it for insulating. And uh, now we're going to start coming up these inside walls like we did in the goat barn with some siding. So I've got to see about going and cutting some one by fours on the mill. I don't think I have any more one by fours sawn out. So I've got to get some one by fours. Actually, these are, I think they're actually one by threes. And I did that on purpose because I didn't need four fours. Let's see here. Yeah, one by threes. So I got to get those cut out so I can finish this tram and then we're gonna start closing this wall up. Well, it may be a little hard to see, but I think there's enough light coming through the window here. But we got her done. Well, at least the first two walls. That's the east wall all sided up and the south wall. Um, which is quick and easy because there's no windows or anything to trim around, but I actually had to go back to the sawmill. That slowed me down. Had to go cut more. Did a little, something a little different with the trim this time in the corners. Rather than going um, both angles on the trim, I just did one piece of trim. So these boards butt into it this direction. These boards butt into it this direction, obviously. So you still get that flat butt trim. I like it. Um, Doing both corners really to me is just kind of excessive. It just uses up a lot of, it just makes you have to use a lot more trim, all those extra boards. Uh, it means you gotta put a lot more blocking behind it to support it all. So I'm fine with the single piece of trim. I think it looks good and I think it looks smart. So anyway, those two walls are closed up and finished. I don't plan to paint it. I have zero intentions to paint it. You don't need to. Uh, painting, I mean, it's all interior. Painting's not gonna do anything for it except make it colorful. So I am not going to paint it, plus painting would seal it to where it couldn't breathe. And I actually want it to be able to breathe a little bit because um, it's still got moisture in it. So anyway, now we're ready. 
we can put the tank in here if we want to but to do that i've got a lot more work to do i've got to cut a lot of piping and stuff off and turn stuff around that'll be for a different video so for now just wanted to brag that two walls are done in here the third wall will be really easy that's the north wall it's all flat i'll have to do some trim work around the window here uh, which first i have to shave off all this extra foam because i'm certain i got the low expansion window and door foam but it seems to want to disagree about the expansion ratio so I'll have to shave all that off. I'll have to get the window trimmed in. Um, and then I'll have to get this wall sided up, which really is not a whole lot of siding, but it'll just be slow because of all the trim cuts. So anyway, yeah. Haven't decided what I want to do on the roof, on the ceiling. I might just do flat boards on the ceiling and allow them to gap. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it open, but we'll figure something out for the ceiling. Not a big deal. Doing the walls for now. All right, I suppose I need to make a wrap-up video here on the pump house, on the insulation and such. I've done so much more work in here since I made that last video. I'm just going to close it out with this. Uh, I think it was dark, and I said how we, you know, I just finished up the um, these two walls. Well, since then, I've gone through, and I've gotten this one all closed up. I've gotten the window wall all closed up except for the very top couple of rows. I just ran out of boards. Uh, and I mentioned that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the ceiling, but with the ceiling, I'm just going to do the same thing. This is this lap uh, pine board. If you watch the video about how I did the interior of the goat barn, I did the same thing. I just start at both edges, basically, and just lap it an inch, just like I would on the walls. But come from that side and come from this side, and then meet in the middle as, you know, one just kind of catboard to, to cover it up. So that's the plan. That's what I'll do on this one as well. I don't know when I'll get around to it, but I want to get this video done and uploaded because I actually did most of the rest of this like two months ago. And of course, since then we've hooked in our power and gotten the pressure tank all in here and got filters all in. So kind of publishing this one out of order, but it is what it is. So like I said, I just want to finish it up, tell you guys what my plan is, and uh, I'm sure you'll see it in the future. At some point in time, I'll be in here making a video about something else.